Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open an entire box of Innistrad Crimson Vow Draft Boosters. And I also got a promo card that went along with this. So this is Castle Dracula. Very awesome. It's the alternate art for Voldaren Estate. Very shiny. We'll set that aside and get to cracking. There's also a fun little surprise I'd forgotten about with these. So we'll see if... Yes, here it is. Alright, so we got a box topper right at the top of the box. I like how they've protected it with some cardboard. And then we have 36 packs of goodness. So we're not going to dwell on the commons and uncommons today. We're just going to try to zip through as quick as we can. And unfortunately, there are no set boosters available these days, so I think they might be delayed till December or maybe next week. We'll see how we go with that. All right, so these are printed in Japan. So we start off with the white card there, the day night token. Ho ho ho! Foil Chandra dressed to kill. First pack. Holy cow! And a mountain and dominating vampire is the rare. And let's see anything else. I don't think they had any other fancy things here. Okay, so we'll set the rest of that aside and grab the sleeves. This is awesome. This is actually the number one card I wanted. I think the alternate art would be even better. Okay, so. Can't ask for much better than that, honestly. So, skipping over this stuff, we do have a Thalia Guardian of Thraben. So that's a foil. And a Swamp. And Dream Root Cascade. Okay, so foils up there. And nothing else, okay. So maybe it's all downhill from here, we'll just be pulling garbage for the rest of the video. Okay, so that, got a human island, and Howlpack Piper, one of these flip cards flips around into Wild Song Howler. Okay. And what are people thinking of the uh, showcase artworks this time around? It seems like there's a couple of different ones, there's the black and white version. Blood token and the lands are pretty awesome as well. Oh, and just casually pulling a Sauron the Mirthless. Okay, we're going to sleeve that up as well. Holy cow, in a matter of packs, we've got all the, and I think, yeah, there's like these little uh, rose petals, I think, falling through the artwork. That's a fun touch. Okay, so two mythics already. What is even happening? Happening. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, a boar token. Love it. And we got a foil cobbled lancer. And glorious sunrise is the rare. Okay. So what are the tokens are there? I'm not really familiar with. Uh, we've got the blood token, the boar token, human. Vampire token, that is pretty awesome. Got a swamp, old Rutstein, there he is. We pulled that in the uh, live stream actually, a bunch of those. So that was, uh, we opened over 150 packs in MTG Arena. If you missed that video, I'll chuck a link in the corner. Check it out. Okay, so we've got our blank card, day night token, foil, heroes, downfall. Forest and Graf Reaver. What is this? A zombie warrior, apparently. So, rearranging the piles. So, a Sauron and a Chandra. Those are like the uh, top two picks, actually, I was looking for. So, Wolf Token. There's another one. Planes. Dig Up is the rare. Gonna move this pile over here. So, have you cracked open any Innistrad Crimson Veil this weekend? 
Got any crazy pulls? Leave a note in the comments. And it's a delightful wedding announcement. And on the other side, wedding festivity. Okay, the uh, I like really like the trailer they did for the uh, set. You think it's one thing and then it's something else. Fun little twist there. And a swamp and overcharged amalgam is the rare zombie horror. And we will be uh, in future videos, we'll be slowing down a little bit, enjoying the commons and uncommons as well. But for now, we want to get to the juicy stuff. Foil, kindly ancestor, and a, what is this, ancestor's embrace, okay. Got the forest. Oh, I like the artwork on this. The showcase blood vial purveyor. That is excellent. So you can see the two different ones there. We've got the black and white, almost like a sketch variant, and then the one with the fancy border. Treasure token with an eyeball in the middle. That's unexpected. Mountain and hopeful initiate. So what are people thinking? Uh, Innistrad Crimson Vow, so you've got the werewolves versus, uh, you got the vampires, sorry, versus the werewolves in Midnight Hunt. What is your favorite tribe? Leave a note in the comments. We've got Dorothea, Vengeful Victim, and Dorothea's Retribution is the rare. I'm looking to find Olivia Voldaren, are you here, Olivia? Let's see. Dying to serve while well, her servants are here. That's pretty cool. And we do have the pull tabs. Everything's back to front. These uh, packs are printed in Japan. That's pretty common for the first release. We've got the Spirit Mountain. Aerith Tormented Prophet. Okay, the alternate art on that one. So I think in uh, there was another video we did. We pulled the uh, showcase, uh, not the showcase, the regular version. So we've got that insect token. Okay, lots of different tokens. Swamp and Olivia's attendants. All the servants are here, but where is Olivia herself? We need the crazy pulls. We started off strong and then we've petered out already halfway through the box. What is happening? Welcome to the arena, a plains and a mythic. Yes, cemetery gatekeeper. Good to see you, mate. We'll whack a sleeve on you as well. So is anyone playing any crazy new brews in MTG arena? I'm thinking there's lots of possibilities with those blood tokens. There's a whole bunch of cards that produce those. Okay, we've got that. We've got a wolf, forest, and investigator's journal. Okay, so it seems like you only get in these packs, only get the one rare. Whereas a set booster, you could get up to, what is it, four or five? Unfortunately, no set boost is available, and that is an awesome looking island. And Howling Moon is the rare. So normally on the pre-release weekend, I'd get a case of set boosters. This time round, there is nothing available, just a handful of draft boxes. Oh, the Persistent Specimen, that's some fun artwork. Foil, and a Forest and Ascendant Pack Leader. Alright, so if you were hoping there would be no more wolves or werewolves in this set, you're sadly mistaken. There's still a whole bunch. But there's also a lot more vampires this time around. Spirit Token, that's awesome. I think, are there two different Spirit Tokens? We've got the Thalia Guardian of Thraben, a very nice reprint. Awesome artwork. Magali Villeneuve is the artist, I thought so. Looks sort of familiar. Okay, what do we have here then? An insect, Selhof in Tuma, foil zombie, and a mountain, and voice of the blessed is the rare. 
So we are about two thirds through three mythics. Usually you would get about five mythics in a booster box. And change of fortune is the rare. And we did actually see a whole lot of commons and uncommons when we did the live stream the other day. So I am familiar with a bunch of them. But today, skipping over it all. Oh, zombie token. Look at that. Awesome. All right. And a swamp. And Dorothea, vengeful victim. And on the other side, Dorothea's retribution. Okay. So that's the Dorothea there. That's cool. So we're on the last third. It is the home stretch. So let's hope for some awesome pulls. I don't think you can get the borderless cards in here, the extended art. But a wolf, a forest. I could be mistaken, however. Dream Shackle Geist is the rare. And then, of course, coming up next weekend. We have the bundle, we've got some uh, hopefully set boosters, collector boosters, that is very striking, nice human token, island and winged portent is the rare, I'll probably also try to hunt down those theme boosters, people seem to like watching the videos even though the product is not the greatest, but I get hosed so you don't have to. Blood token and a swampy Odric blood cursed. Nice with the showcase artwork. I believe that artwork is also on a playmat. I've ordered a bunch of playmats from this set. There's so many awesome ones to pick. Tried to narrow it down to three. You can probably figure out what three I would have picked. But let me know. Have you picked up any of the playmats? We've got Voldaren Bloodcaster. Vampire Wizard with Blood Bat Summoner on the other side. Okay, so we are making decent time. Normally I'd get through like 10 or 12 packs in this time, but we are racing through a copy token, a mountain, and the plains. Okay, wait a second. So a foil mountain, all right, and the plains, and Torrens Fist of the Angels. Alluring Suitor, nice uh, showcase there. I believe I pulled a complete playset of Torrens in MTG Arena. Just kept popping up, so at least I won't get any more of those now. Foil, Massive Might, the Giant Snail, love it. And a Swampy, oh, Cemetery Protector. Mythic. Alright, so we're going to sleeve that up as well. So, four Mythics have been pulled, and not to forget the box topper at the end there. So, I believe those are all the Dracula theme variants. I'm hoping to collect the whole set of those. Those are awesome. Last time I did something like that was with the uh, Godzilla cards. We've got Stencia Uprising. So Godzilla out of uh, Ikoria, so that was a fun tie-in. They had those as box toppers as well as in the collector boosters. And a Plains. And Uvenvold Oddity is the rare on the other side. Uvenvold Behemoth, I like the mouth in the uh, chest there of that weird creature, like a mutated bear or something. Which reminds me, there is a zombie bear in the set, but I think it's probably an uncommon. Okay, MTG Arena, Cradle of Safety, Foilage, and a very nice forest. And Grolnok the Omnivore, what is this legendary creature frog? Whenever a frog you control attacks, mill three cards. That's fine, I'm going to have to do something with that card. Build around it. Whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard from your library, exile it with a croak count on it. You may play lands and cast spells from among cards you own next soul with croak counters on them. Nice flavor on it as well. An insect and a foil. And yay, made of dishonor. Nice foil rare. And a mountain 
And Sagada's Summons. Love the artwork on that one as well. Another showcase. We're down to two packs. And then it is box topper time. Alrighty then. So Spirit Planes and Patchwork Crawler Creature Zombie Horror. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, hoping for a Mythic in this final pack, to be honest. Foil, Adamant Will, and a Forest. What's it going to be? Yes, a Mythic. So there's our fifth Mythic. Volatile Arsonist. We're going to sleeve that up as well. You've got the Dire Strain Anarchist on the other side. A Werewolf. Excellent. Okay, and then we will get into that box topper. What did we get? Did we get Dracula himself or something else? Now the next test will be, can I open this without destroying it? Um, it seems to be like glued down here. So let's try just opening it while it's in here. Still attached. Oop, we don't want to spoil that. And Reaching in. Oh, okay. It's a double-sided card. We have Lucy Westenra. So this is the alternate for Innocent Traveler. And on the other side, we got Lucy Arisen Vampire. So this is the Malicious Invader. Nice. So there's another one to sleeve up. So leave a note in the comments. Have you picked up any Crimson Vow? How did you do? Did you take part in the pre-release? Let me know. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.